Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Dancy. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Romulus Community Connection Weekly News Show. How often do you visit the city's website? We have now gone live with our new site. It is still available at RomulusGov.com, but features a fresh look and some new elements to make it easier to find information and interact with the city. We will, we will be making continuous improvements now that the site is live, so if you have any suggestions, you can call my office at 734-955-4504. Here's the message now about winter weather and snow emergencies. Hi, this is Mayor Burcroft. Uh, it's that time of year, it's the winter months. I'm here today to talk a little bit about our snow emergencies. Uh, as you can tell, the winter is uh, upon us and the temperatures are getting colder. And because of that, we tend to get snow this time of year. So uh, what I want to do just to kind of prepare the residents for this upcoming season, uh, we work hard to make sure that we're providing good customer service and clearing roads. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind that we will be notifying residents of our public uh, service announcements and snow emergency broadcasts. Um, what snow emergencies are is typically when our um, uh, public safety starts to see three to four inches of snow and conditions uh, getting difficult, especially in some of the neighborhoods, what we will do, and I will call a snow emergency, what we're asking people to do is basically stay off the streets so that our emergency, so that our snow equipment can clear for emergency equipment. Uh, it may be a little inconvenience to our residents, but uh, it could be a, a matter of uh, public safety and allowing actually police and fire to get to our residents to take care of emergency needs. So uh, please work with us. When you hear a snow emergency, make sure that you are removing your vehicles from the street. If vehicles are not moved from the roads during a snow emergency, they will be ticketed and possibly towed at the owner's expense. We do not want to cite owners or tow vehicles. However, our number one priority is to clear and make our roads safe to travel. If it looks like we are anticipating inclement weather with icy conditions or snow accumulation, be proactive and move your vehicles from the public roadway. Thank you. The reason for the declaration of a snow emergency is to maintain proper serviceability of our roads and make passage on our roads as safe as possible for motorists. Once a snow emergency has been declared by the mayor, city officials will make notification to residents through our local cable channels 12, 18, on Comcast, Facebook, and the City of Romulus website. In most cases, regional news stations will also be notified. We have utilized a system known as Code Red, which, when activated, notifies residents through phone calls, text messages, and emails. This system is used only in extreme situations and you must pre-register with the program in order to receive notification. You can register for Code Red on our city website, www.romulusgov.com. Please keep in mind the declaration of a snow emergency is not only so that we can keep the roads serviceable for our residents, but so that it is also safe for the passage of our emergency vehicles. If roads are not cleared, emergency vehicles may not be able to reach you or your loved ones in a timely manner. Also, if there is a fire hydrant located in front of your home, please assist us and keep it clear of snow so that we may find it if needed. Moving cars parked on city roads to a driveway or other area also makes the job of snow removal more efficient and safe for our employees. Cars left on the road lead to multiple trips to the same area, increasing the time it will take to clear the city streets as well as wasting valuable city resources such as fuel, vehicle mileage, maintenance, and labor costs. In order to safely remove snow from the roads, our truck operators must maintain a proper and careful speed. Frequent slowing and turning make it difficult for our drivers to perform their jobs efficiently. With your help and cooperation, our employees will do the best to make sure that the roads are cleared in a safe and timely manner. Uh, now that you've heard about the snow emergencies, one thing that I, I think is great about our community is that we all kind of look out for one another. If you happen to see a neighbor's car and a snow emergency is called, uh, try to do the neighborly thing, let them know so that they can get those vehicles moved. Uh, the last thing we want to do is disrupt neighborhoods and, and have to tow vehicles. Uh, we'd much rather have people cooperate and that's, that's kind of the spirit of cooperation during the season. So please, if you could, look out for one another. Please be safe this winter uh, and, and drive carefully as well too, especially around the school areas. But thank you very much for your consideration. There are a few events happening around Romulus for Black History Month. 
The annual Community Soul Food Dinner will be held on Tuesday, February 10th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Romulus High School cafeteria. The dinner will be followed by a Black History Month program in the auditorium. Volunteers are needed to donate dishes and to volunteer. If you would like to help, please call Reverend Rita Talley at 734-595-6330 or Tina Talley at 313-408-3637. The City of Romulus is holding their Black History Recognition Breakfast on Tuesday, February 17th at the Romulus Athletic Center at 9 o'clock a.m. There will be light refreshments and a program featuring local African Americans that have had an impact on Romulus. If you have someone you'd like to nominate to be recognized, please call the Mayor's Office at 734-942-7571. The Romulus Public Library is holding a program for children ages 4 and up about the Underground Railroad on Tuesday, February 17th at 6.30 p.m. And Romulus High School's Black History Showcase will be held Thursday, February 26th in the auditorium from 7 to 9 p.m. The cost is $5 and benefits the class of 2015. Special VIP tickets are available for this event for $20, which includes a full-course soul food dinner prior to the program at 5.30 p.m. Please call 734-532-1112 to reserve VIP tickets. Please consider attending these events all around the community this month. Hi, I'm Tanya with the Romulus Recreation Department, and I wanted to remind everyone to come out for our special night, Mother Son Dance. It's going to be held on February the 19th at the Romulus High School Cafeteria from 6.30 to 8.30. The cost is $18 per couple and $7 for each additional child. Ticket price includes a flower for mom or your special loved one, a picture for you and your date, pizza, and a night full of fun, music, and dancing. Tickets must be purchased in advance at the Romulus City Hall by Friday, February the 13th at 3.30. Tickets will not be sold at the door. If you have any questions or need any more information, feel free to give me a call at 734-941-8665. And Here's a schedule of upcoming senior activities for the week of February the 2nd. The Senior Center will resume its trips to Meyer and Walmart. On Monday, we will be going to Walmart at 9 a.m., and there will be Bible study also on Monday at 11.30, bingo at noon. On Tuesday, Club Number 1 will meet at 11 a.m. There is bingo at noon and craft classes also at noon. Wednesday, you'll be able to get your blood pressure checked and get a manicure starting at 10 a.m., and then there is fun day at 12 p.m. and bingo at the same time. Here's a little trivia question for you. What song was credited as, as the song that started the rock and roll movement? I'll name that tune for you in a moment. Thursday at noon, you can name that tune as we stroll through the oldies but goodies. You can participate in the game day also at noon. Quilting classes begin at 6 p.m. The song that is credited for the first big rock hit was Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and his Comets. It became a number one hit in 1955. On Friday, there'll be a movie in at 11.30, or you can play Pokino at 12. Another tax season is fast approaching, starting in February and every Thursday through April the 9th, with the exception of March 19th. The Romulus Senior Center will provide free tax services from 9 a.m. until noon through ARP and the help of Joe Ozog and our city treasurer, Stacy Page. If you are 60 and older, handicapped, or low-income individuals, please have your paperwork ready in order to sign up for your tax appointment. No walk-ins, please. Call the Senior Center for your appointment. I'm Dennis Davidson, and that's Senior News You Can Use. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. The second annual Mayor's Ball will be this Valentine's Day, Saturday, February 14th, from 5 p.m. to midnight. This is a benefit event for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Romulus and the Donahue Club of Belleville. It is an evening of dancing, food, refreshments, and silent and live auctions hosted by Mayor Leroy Burcroft of Romulus and Mayor Corrine Connolly of Belleville. Tickets must be purchased in advance and cost $100 per person, which includes dinner, open bar, and DJ entertainment. Please call Rob McLaughlin to purchase your ticket today at 734-578-5682. 
This has been Romulus News You Can Use. I'm Jasmine Dancy. Remember, you can stay connected with us on RomulusGov.com or on Facebook.com slash City of Romulus. Have a great week, everybody.